Hey guys, welcome back. We've got a quick review of the Kato Amtrak baggage car phase 4B. This is road number 1221. There are two different road numbers available in this phase 4B scheme. You've got an MSRP of $85. Let's see what you get for that. You've got a Amtrak baggage car pamphlet here going over the installation of a magnetic trip pins on the coupler, uh, installation and replacement of the Kato coupler, and how to install the optional tail light PCB, which is through the bottom of the car. Let's actually remove the car from the box and see some of the details. One thing for sure is that it has free rolling wheels that will really tell on any uneven layout, such as mine. Let's go over some of the overall detail. You've got the road number 1221 both on the blue portion here and down here the print is legible and clear. You've got a nice metallic finish on this car. You've got clear windows that you can see all the way through on the baggage doors here. You've got some nice detail on the truck which I will zoom in on in a minute. You've also got some ladders that are a little thick, uh, not too bad. You've got a little bit of underbody detail. While we're talking about underbody detail, let's take a look. You've got some, I'd say, just slightly above basic underbody detail. However, there may not be much underbody detail on these baggage cars anyway, but I don't see any air lines or anything like that, brake lines, under here. Going to the end, as you can see, you've got a Kato coupler here. There are no magnetic trip pins, which is probably why they talk about it in the manual. You've got the two lights on each end that are optionally lit by that PCB option that you can buy separately. You've got tubular diaphragms on each end. That's a nice step up from the basic plastic models, which usually have the flat diaphragms, even if they're not prototypically correct. These tubular diaphragms are prototypically correct for this model. And they did a nice job modeling those. You've got the door on each end, which does have a little door handle. It's probably hard to pick up on HD or on this camera. On the other end, you get the brake wheel. And again, the tubular diaphragms and Kato uh, coupler there, along with the lights that are optional to be lit. If you look at the roof here, you've got some nice detail on the roof as well. Uh, nice metallic appearance. Uh, one thing about this car is there are molded on grab irons I believe versus the separately applied grab irons so that's one thing that for folks that are really uh, concerned about the detail these grab irons appear to be molded on. That is about it on the car itself. Let's go ahead and weigh the car so you see what you're getting in weight. We've got uh, 157 grams, 5.5 ounces, and 0.157 kilograms. So that shows you the weight of the car. The operation of the car is nice and smooth. It definitely won't drag down your train. Like I said, it's free rolling trucks. Now let's take a close pass of the car. And again, we'll cover MSRP one more time and some of the retailers out there that have better than MSRP prices. So you see the nice Amtrak logo there, that is the most current Amtrak logo. A nice blue appearance on that striping and a nice corrugated side to this baggage car. Now again MSRP $85, I've seen this as low as in the high 50s, low 60s online. I personally purchased this from OverlineHobbies.com so that's one place that uh, had them in stock the last I checked. Also. Um, if they're not in stock at Overland, I know you can get them through MB Klein. They had over a dozen in stock uh, at the date of this filming because I checked those. But overall, nice detail. While we're zoomed in, I will show you the detail up close on the ends. The camera will cooperate. Overall, not a bad car. I would really highly suggest doing the discount hunting because I think $85 if you're paying that in MSRP. It's a bit steep. But pretty decent car, definitely nicer than the options that have been out there in the past. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.